Over the years, you have seen all red sad ammos such as Doom Poor 2 and Arrival. But during the 80s and 90s, you also have got moves that are overrated. And this one from 1985 called Brazil is absolutely one of those. The story is all about this guy that works in the dystopian society, but then he decides to risk his position for love. And he seems like he does not at first accept the promotion. Anyways, then he has to do it in order to find more information. The concept itself is done much better in the movie called 1984 and in Dark City. We also see a revolt against the society, but those moves are portrayed much darker, much more serious, and it is not an attempt at making a more ridiculous movie like this one. In the movie, the main character is played by Jonathan Price, which you might know from the Nightmare Alley movie. Anyways, here lets down a mighty good performance, and how he's stressed out. How he tries to find his woman the desperation surrounding that. He is very good at acting upon those emotions. Nevertheless, it is not enough to make the movie itself entertaining, as the movie is boring in a lot of the moments. Another thing that makes this movie into one of the most overrated Sava movies in existence is how we see the underuse of the best actor in this movie, which of course is Robert De Niro. He plays this rather mysterious crazy title that helps Sam all the time, and it should absolutely have been more in the movie. Because as this plumber guy fighting in some sort of resistance, it brings light to an otherwise boring movie at times. One thing that really can be seen about this movie, in addition to that it tries to be ridiculous and crazy, is that the movie looks basically scuffed, and that is of course somewhat natural when the movie itself came out in 1985. But nonetheless, it does something with your general impression of the movie, because it really does not look that good, and more than most, you know, although that's not everything in a sci-fi movie, what it's all about, but at least Disney Whistles is something you would prefer. The movie is kinda slow in the beginning and I would say it is hard to get into, which is just one further reason as to why I would say that the movie is fairly overrated. It is not always that easy to get immersed and in a concept wise sci-fi movie like this one, you need to be immersed simply in order to be entertained. It is also a bit strange with all the plastic surgeons and how the people look and everything. Naturally, Terry Gilliam, the director of the movie, is someone that has made this rather strange movies that stands a bit apart from the rest. But this one rather feels weird in a slightly corny way, where you also have a main character with strange dreams, and then it tries to find a woman in the dream, which is a concept in itself that could have worked if it was more entertaining, which it is at times, but not enough. And that's why for me it's a 6 out of 10, and it is certainly overrated.